What were the processes that you kind of immediately had to install and, and how did the second question is how did the uh, organigram of such a restaurant looked like? I mean, how did, how was the, the restaurant structured in team? Yeah. And, and so the, the, you, you kind of needed a process for everything. Right. And I, and I think there's, there's two real reasons for this. Um, to me, for a restaurant to really be successful, they need to make sure that customers know that whenever they go to that restaurant, the food will be, the experience will be consistent, right? They will, they will, they know they will get what they expect. Um, because otherwise, if they have a bad experience, then they're not going to come back. And that will be everything from the food itself, the service, you know, how much they pay, everything, right? So they just want to know that I'm going to this place, I know exactly what's going to happen. And so what that means is that you need really to, a, a procedure around everything, right? So when we open the restaurant, we need to make sure is the front door open or is it closed? Is the heater on or is it off? Is the till on? Like at what time do we then, is there someone at the door greeting people, etc.? Because then you can replicate exactly that experience or as close as possible to what you're expecting. So really what that means is you need a procedure ultimately for everything, opening, closing, how you run, how do you train the team, how do you use the different softwares you're using, etc. And And so that, the, 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 the short answer to that is everything needs a process. Uh, even the, the, the um, things that seem so obvious will need a process because if there's room to be interpreted, it might be interpreted differently and therefore you might not have that consistent experience. 